like with graph, like you'll go to another country and you'll just like the, the language will trigger something mm. different in you. You'll see maybe a building, you'll see maybe a plant, you'll see anything. It'll be like, I kind of, that's kind of made me think mm -hmm. like I can sure. change something here, you know. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. Instagram UK frontline. Box created. Killer Keller. And we here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Killer Keller Podcast live and direct. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings inside the place. And big shout out also to UK Front and of course, uh, Chroma Black, VIP, any, anybody that's repping the good, good, because you know what? We deal in uh, matters of street culture and uh, of all walks of life. And one gentleman right here who I've been looking forward to crossing paths with and graciously was like yeah i'm down is the man like nux inside the place how are you brother i'm good bro good to see you all good good to see you as well what's been going down yeah just been um focusing on myself yeah uh -huh. trying to stay busy uh -huh. um especially like what's going on like right now like yeah. i think it's good to have like stay focused on you instead of getting sidetracked in something else you know <laughs> oh I kind of like that sentiment, actually. You yeah. threw me there, like, concentrating on you rather, any, rather than anyone else. Allow, allow. Well, not, not like anyone else, but, like, what's going on right now is so easy just to fall into that kind of trap of, like, not focusing on what you should be doing, it, but, like, thinking of, like, all the negative stuff that's going on in the Mate, world right now, you know? could not agree so, with you hard enough. Yeah. It's weird, so, isn't it, out it there? It is like, weird. And I'm kind of tired of the... BS, like, and I, th like, listen, there's no BS within the, the realms of just, you go on social media, and then here we go. Yeah, you know? exactly, adverts. Yeah. Oh, um, adverts, man. And adverts, all that. adverts, articles, all about the same stuff that's been going on for yeah. ages. Yeah. You know, I like to kind of get away from it all by yeah. going out painting. Yeah, yeah, go out painting. Staying out of trouble. Yeah, seeing your mates and that, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, you're, you're of, a, of a younger gen when it comes to graph, but one yeah. thing that I totally and utterly get uh, from your uh, inspiration is of an old school, a more wild style yeah, aesthetic, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is, I mean, uh, it, it, it completely flicks switches, man. And, and not many people are doing it, you know what I mean? Yeah, not, not so much now, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, I've always been into it since I started painting about yeah. eight or nine years ago always been into it always liked it um I've like dabbled in like some other like little like little periods of like going into like other styles but the wild style has always it's always been there what's the theory behind so, it because there is quite a, I mean the way you go in and we've shown some video pictures if you're if you're not watching this it's going to be audio but but uh, I've thrown some pictures up at the top and um, yeah yeah it, there's there's a real pro. I'm sure. I'm almost certain. You know, the question that people are going to want me to answer. They probably want me to. They probably want to know sooner rather than later. Yeah, yeah go on. Is Where do you get? Where do you start that process of pull, pulling across such a wild style in, in the way that you you do? Well, when I when I go paint them, where wherever it is, whatever it is, um, I mark up my letters like kind of like a big tag, so it's a little bit quicker. A little bit easier because then you get the letter straight away instead mm. of doing like it um, traditionally, yeah. which I still which I still do yeah. um, in some cases. But you know it goes from there. But what what I've been doing quite a lot to like um, do more mm. for the value of the money is doing motion fills with the roller and sometimes go straight in with the roller. Yeah, because my letters are kind of around the same size, well a bit thicker mm. than like a small roller. Mm. So that's how I can like kind of taper it to get those like big, like long, little like, like almost like thorn like ends to the letters. You see, like, you Intel know? right there. That's some Intel. shit. That's some shit. That's some, that's the shit. Yeah. Um, 
that makes complete and utter sense. I, and I know what you mean for the money. Let's get yeah. into that for a second. Yeah, yeah, go on. The value for money thing. Is that because, you know, to do something that sizable is a lot? It, it is a lot. It costs a lot. Yeah, yeah, it does. And, you know, I want to I wanna do as many as possible. Mm-hmm. And, you know, is like maybe one a week right now, one every couple of days. So if you do a multi Motion fields. Probably a lot of people do know this. It just saves a lot of money on on your paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then no, I get it. what I'll do is I'll go get some mulch from wherever, you know, and um, and then what I'll go do is go to a paint shop, get, like, say, Loop or Montana Black, whatever, whatever I'm going to go buy. Mm-hmm. I'll, in my head, or I've taken a photo of the colour of the mulch, I'll go and get the closest colour possible for like all the cutbacks and the add-ons, so yeah. it looks like it's all one color. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So sometimes it doesn't always work out. Sometimes the color is a bit off, but because in my style there's so much complex complexity with mm. all the lines, it sometimes works as well having two colors. Mm. So that if the can's a little bit off, it doesn't always matter because then I could use it as like a highlight or a shadow. Mm. So yeah, maybe that's where the yeah. Because stylistically, I guess you can play with that as well. You can, yeah, you can make that work to your advantage as yeah, well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, sometimes it doesn't always work. And you start like going into that mode of like, oh my god, like this is like not working. It's going down the pan, this and that. But sometimes you get them days where everything you do just goes in your favour, yeah. and sometimes you don't. Yeah. You know. Like, You're saying that you do it in like what a couple of days? Every couple of days you you yeah, putting a piece up? Yeah. I mean, it de- it depends on like how. How busy I am at that, at like you know that precise time, um, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, it depends. Normally, I'll try and aim for like one one a week most of the time. But yeah. if I haven't painted for about two weeks and I start getting those like withdrawal symptoms, <laughs> like, I need to go out. I need to do something, <laughs> even, even if it's just a couple of tags chucked up or whatever. Mm-hmm. I need to do something to keep mm-hmm. it keep it moving. Your production level is crazy. Like. We were talking about this before we started, and it's the it's that it's American l- 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 wild style. Yeah, it's got a real, like, and again going back to, to more of an old school roots. You you we were saying you know you're a fan of that that yeah. era and that style, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. What's your uh, what's your uh, biggest ins- inspiration at, at over there? I mean, like if you were to define it with a piece or a, an artist. I think I think a lot of those. Well, all over. All I like styles from kind of all over the world, to be honest. But when you come to mention the states, like I do like the West Coast. I do like the Midwest. Mm. So sort, of, sort of like stuff. They're like the MFK guys. They do some really good stuff. Um, I like, like you know CBS, mm. MSK, mm. LTS, okay. um, yeah. all them guys. But then I do like you know. Mexican graph, South American graph. Like, I like graph from all over. Wherever, wherever I think like some someone's doing it good, I like. But then I do like the graph here. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've like when I was younger, was really into London style. Yeah. I was really into it, and then who wouldn't be? It's like it's just yeah. in your face. It is. Bang. It is. I mean, I although like it. yeah, although I didn't grow up in London, um, but you you always see it. Like it's a it's kind of a national thing as well. Like you'll go to like. Somewhere outside of London, whether it's Newcastle, where I grew up in Bournemouth, wherever you'll see that guy trying to do it because it's just the style from the capital. It's true. So yeah, yeah. It's true. or you'll get like guys from London going around the country, and mm. then you'll see it around the country. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I, I love it. Mm. You know, I love all aspects of the graph. So let's get, let's take it back. So you're born on the south coast. No, 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 I'm actually from here, You're but I okay. moved there with my family when I was really young. Gotcha. But um, I've been now back here for t- almost two years. So where did you live? Where, where were your family from in London? East, 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 East. yeah, where I'm based now. Gotcha. Okay, so growing up, like, were you were you susceptible to, like, like the whole street culture thing, the graph thing, the, 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 the writing game were you did was there anyone that kind of brought you in or anything that you that triggered it i think what triggered it was went on a family uh holiday to paris when i was about 11 10 or 11 and i just saw it absolutely bloody everywhere mm-hmm. like 
I could see colours, I could see letters, I could under I could I could understand it to a to a certain extent, but I wanted to know more. Mm. You know, I saw it everywhere. Um and then when obviously you came back to England, it was only a short holiday, like three or four days. Mm. Um and then I came up to see so my you aunt. Yeah, it's quite yeah, a yeah. Place. <laughs> and, yeah, and I've been I've been there like since as well once. Mm. But there's so much graph there, you don't even notice it. Mm. It's to like to that level. It's just like you it's see. Just, yeah. That's what takes it. So it takes in your face. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's it's part of the furniture. Literally is. Yeah. It's like it's like yeah. It that's literally it because there's so much there. Even like in the tourist areas, even like everywhere. It's just yeah. everywhere. And then about f- three or four months later, I came up to see my auntie again with my family, and I saw graph all over like London. Mm. She 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 was living in East, um, so I'm in East, and I would just see it constantly. So how old were you at that time? About eleven, twelve, about yeah, and then still, and out. then about a couple of months later, I started drawing it on paper, and then got, got some like markers from like mm. some shop or something, mm. and then I start going from there, and then that's kind of what took it off, really. Mm. What's that? what's what's NERC stand for? doesn't really stand for anything as far as I'm aware of, but um, I just like the letters. So I'd been messing around with a couple of like, names like, here and there when I was younger, as, as most people do, mm. as you probably um, get um, in here. But um, yeah, but one day I just like, I think it was about two years in, I just like thought like, I want to change my name. So I like, wrote down some letters that I quite liked, about seven or eight letters. Mm. And then I picked like one name that one didn't really work and then I got Nurk mm-hmm. quite liked it mm-hmm. and then I started painting pieces with Nurk doing some dubs tagging with it this and that and then um, and then one day I just thought like let's just add an S mm-hmm. and then that's how I got, got my name mm-hmm. so yeah I quite That's like the high. fact. I quite like the fact that that as a name and the the, the style in which you have. It. I mean, because I'm from. I'm originally from like you know down south as a lot of these guys. Yeah. Are, you know? So you know, I used to go to Worthing, used to go to Brighton, used to go to Portsmouth a couple of times. Yeah, so I know, you know, I roughly know the area. Yeah, I've been to all them places as well. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot more. Um, I mean, we talk about how you know to, to the highest level of love that we have for the London style, but uh, the the, the open mindedness that of style in those places um it, 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 i don't know there's it just feels a little bit more freer in a in a way yeah i think what do you reckon it is i, I literally don't know i think i think because london is such a big city like london the, the graph is everywhere in london mm. and i think london which are one thing that i really do like about london it keeps to its traditions mm. about that sharp aggressive almost b-boy stance lettering yeah 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 you're um, blocked out yeah, yeah it's almost like that yeah. you know and um i think when as soon as you get into london like even like maybe just outside the m25 you'll see it and you'll be like yeah like this is london yeah so i think that might be why and when you go elsewhere you've got other styles you know yeah. like so i think like london is like as soon as you hit london you got that mm-hmm. london style and when you see it constantly, you do mm. get like you know obviously interested in it. Mm, mm, mm. Do you do mostly walls, or do you you know do you do track sides? Do you do you know is this is any, anything I get my hands? Yeah. To be honest, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just I just I just enjoy painting. Yeah, like that's literally it. Like it's an expensive sport, man. I never realised yeah. how much the, you know. Can be, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially if you like bring into account like the um, the travelling aspect of it as well. Mm. Like you want to go sit on an aeroplane for a couple of hours, go somewhere or go somewhere around the country, you add that yeah. in and, you know, it can yeah. be quite expensive. But it's times. like, an, it's infectious, isn't it? It is, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Like, soon, as soon as you start, I think, like, that's it. Like, even if you quit, say, 10 years later, mm. even five years, you muck around with it and graph is always there in... In your mm. soul, in in your heart, whatever, mm. and then you always get some guys that paid maybe fifteen years ago, and mm. then they, then they rock up again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it is infectious. Yeah, it literally, is it's inside you. Yeah, that's right. And, and I guess I guess from an artist point of view, it's like your products are what they are, and your medium is what it is. So it's not a oh fuck, how much am I spending? It's more of like the journey, the the that that 
creative output. That yeah, exactly. You, mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of... Yeah, I mean, it can be expensive, but I think, like, if you... After a while, you start to, like, like kind of learn little ways to keep price down. You can, you know... <coughs> racking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is that. But, like, in general, in general, like, anything, like, even outside a graph, like, maybe... I don't know, like traveling, whatever. Yeah. You can, as soon as you've done it a couple of times or you've mm-hmm. been doing it for a little while, you start to figure out. C- cost things. Yeah, you start, start talk to figure about that. Talk to me about this. Okay, so give me an example of, I mean, of course, the, the, the white paint is a c- cost cut. Yeah. Because, you know, this shit, it's like, you know, it, it's a th- often a thankless throwaway thing. People just expect to see graph there, and that's the way th- th- Joe Public. Do you yeah. know? But when you put so much time and energy, finance, and expectation into yeah. it, like, like you exercise, yeah. there has to be some like cutting costs, or it's like you know. Yeah, yeah. You find you find ways of, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah, you just find ways over time. It's like like with anything. Like you just find ways. To like use things to your advantage, whether or not it's saving money, you use things mm. to do this, that, and the other. But um, when when I do paint really big, mm. which is quite often now, not so much when I was younger, but when I started doing them, I, I always used to do it with cans, and I was just like, I'm spending so much on paint mm. to do this, mm. you know. And um, when you do a motion fill, I mean, I don't know if it takes. It, sometimes it takes a bit longer. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends. Mm. Um, but it just you just keep your fucking bank account in in <laughs> flow a little, yeah you just keep it in check a little bit more you know but yeah um, but then I do like doing fields with sprays yeah. as well you and know you do crazy crazy what's it, you know I know these are probably layman's questions you know but like you for me come across as the a quite a, no, no, there's plenty of people out there that ain't into graph that I know follow you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to ask the questions that they probably would want to ask you. Yeah, yeah, go on. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So how long does it take for you to normally do a, a full top to bottom? Like, full like size piece? well, it depends on a couple of things. It depends how into it I get. Yeah. If I really get into it and I'm like feeling it, got music going, mm. full blast, I'll just kind of zip through it. I mean... Like, for the ones that even know me a long time, they, they're like, oh, you, you can take ages, that, that, that. and I'm just like, yeah, but, like, it's for me, you yeah. know? And, it's therapy. And, yeah, and they, they, they're just laughing. They, they know that it's for me, you know? But, um, like, the one I did yesterday, it was about six or seven hours o- overall. Yeah. yeah, and it was quite big. It was quite a big piece. Mm. Um, but I like, you know, spending that much. Like, have a day with your mates, yeah. you know mucking around this and that you know joking around with each other talking about graph mm. you know i mean no, so it's sure must, so, it must be the best surely yeah I, I love it like there's i wouldn't change it for anything yeah. you know um but yeah they sometimes they take a while but then sometimes you're just like oh i've had enough of this piece it's just, it's just, it's just not, not in a way of giving up because mm. i've only once i've been so close to chucking lines through it and that piece actually turned out one of my favorites because it went outside of your normal way of thinking yeah and and i was just like it happened last year and i was like so close just being like i'm chucking x's over this and just walking out of it yeah but i'm glad that i didn't you know so i like you know took a breather for like i don't know 15 minutes Mm. looked at it and thought right let's change this let's change that add this bit in change the color of this you know and, you know, thinking about it, you can actually really, yeah. you know, rescue it. Yeah, yeah. You kind of, what happens is the deck of cards are wobbling, but yeah. with the right tweaks and modifications, you reassemble, don't you? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Do you find your stick, because, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were saying about six or seven hours and your mates were just like, oh, hurry up, <laughs> yeah. hurry up, nooks. You yeah. Know? Like, do you- they're, when they're watching this, they'll, they'll all be... L- Literally wetting themselves. <laughs> yeah, they'll literally all be wetting. Them. They know who they are. Yeah, yeah. So on you, man. growing up with them. Do but, you feel like? Do you feel? But they like, they respect that. You know that. Yeah, yeah. That time, you know? It's the process, isn't it? Yeah, it and is. also, like it you is. say, it's therapy. In There's a, way, a yeah. therapeutic. There is p- thing to it. Yeah, there um, is. Are you a 
So can you, because I get the impression that in many respects you're quite a solitary writer. You, am, I, am I kind of... What, what kind of writer? Well, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I, I don't see you on your Instagram, you know, with anybody. It's like you seem quite on your own. Yeah, I mean, tip. yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I keep, like, my social media kind of just to, like, my work. I don't, I mean, like, like when I'll be painting with, like, my mates, I'll, like, when I post a photo of this and that, I'll mention them. If mm. they've taken an action photo of me yeah. or they've taken a photo of my piece, I'll always mention them. Because mm. that's just, like, it's just, you know, it's just kind of, I don't know, like... I would say that's like good manners within the scene, like you're including the people that you that you are with, you, mm, like for sure. Um, but it's etiquette, yeah, it is. Cool, so and um, but yeah, I'm always most of the time I'm always painting with people, mm. like. But um, I'm always like I don't know, like I don't like to post anything when I'm painting. I always like to have it as a surprise, you know, like the the upload picture of the piece whenever I post mm. it is the first time people see it unless they've seen it when Walking I was doing past, it, right? yeah. Or if I don't upload it straight away, they may yeah. have seen it before. Yeah. But I always like to, like, you know, post it. Yeah. You know? And I think, you know what, I've seen a, a lot of your stuff, you, 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 obviously you do do London, but like Bournemouth and other areas in, on the South Coast, you you kind of get get into. And maybe there's something in that. Maybe it's that the, they're yeah. not in your common places, yeah. like a Trellick or Leak Street. You know, they're... Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've really like going to other other countries as well. Um, I think that's that like, I've kind of you know, you know, like not even like with graph. Like you'll go to another country and you'll just like the the language will trigger something mm. different in you. You'll see maybe a building. You'll see maybe a plant. You'll see anything. It'll be like I kind of that's kind of made me think how I can. I don't know, change like seeing new things in general makes you think like, oh, mm-hmm. like, I can sure. change something here, you know. Um, being in, di- in different cultures and that, you know, mm. that really helps. Like being around people from all nationalities, which is common in London, because mm. sometimes yeah, I've been sure. painting like maybe ten people, and I'm like one or two only English writers. But that's what I love. I love mm. that about graph. Like you, it's a worldwide international mm. language you know i think we take that for granted as well yeah. that, that london is a a pit stop for a lot of people that are you know that that are orbiting around the world traveling yeah. some writers like some of the most notorious for traveling aren't they yeah yeah some are like, um but yeah i i like being around people in different cities that i'm not used to i like that feeling of being going somewhere completely new mm. whether, whether or not it's a new city new country, new whatever, mm. and you just like, right, let's figure out how to, you know, get to the the paint shop or whatever, and then you mm. go from there, and then you settle into it, and then you don't want to bloody leave at the mm. end of it, you know, mm. so... Yeah, I, I feel that. You know, but, um, you like, whenever you come away from going somewhere, whether or not it's 20 miles away from London, mm. or different, even different place in London, like, mm. I don't normally come out these ways often, mm. so... Yeah, I always see different things when I'm hit, whether or not it's graph or people, architecture, whatever, mm. you know, so... Like, Does it all grab you, that, all of that? Cause, yeah. Because one thing that I noticed also about some of your pieces is there's a real kind of Latina, I don't know, South American vibe to Yeah, well, I've always, ever since I was kind of like a young teenager, I've always been around people from those countries because in Bournemouth... Really, in the centre, there's quite a, a big South American community. For real? Yeah, not many people actually know that until you actually go there. Um, whether or not they speak Portuguese, which is Brazilian, That's right, or yeah. Spanish, like Colombians, Venezuelans, blah, blah, blah. That's always threw me as well. So, <laughs> yeah, so when they're kind of growing up, I kind of mix with quite a few of them. Um, I've always taken to people who... Who who do speak an, another language? Mm. So, you know, you you learn a lot from them, yeah. and especially when you said like the the Latinos and mm. stuff like pe- people from those like demographics. Like I've always been around people like that. Like yeah. even in London, like there's a lot of people yeah. from those countries, so, and that and that yeah, exactly from around like around here. Mm. 
wherever you know like and you know some of my friends who paint up here they're from those countries as well so mm-hmm. i really appreciate that yeah, so I mean, it helps yeah. that like he came in listening to Cypress Hill, which is like obviously the first curveball. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, do, do you 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 hip hop head? Yeah, yeah. I love. I oh, love... B boy in a B boy world or Not to, I I like you know Cypress Hill, Rake One, Wu Tang. Mm. Um, Jesus Christ, there's so many. So I can't it's think the right now, you know. Era, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but I like a few bits nowadays, but not not too much. Mm. I find it a bit. Auto tune like and this, but I like I love like all that kind of mm. like Wu Tang. Do you know? Do you know Delinquent Habits? Of course, yeah. Yeah, I like them. They're one of my favorites as well. That's but, like soup. That and they that that's like, I like, very Hispanic. Yeah, right? I like Send Dog and mm. yeah. It's just I I don't know. I've always taken to that part of the Western Hemisphere of the world for some reason. That's I, don't, cold. I literally don't know why. No, no, that's cold. I yeah. like. I, what was the other one? Oh yeah, of course. Um, Kid Frost. You, you, this guy. Mm. If you like that stuff, Kid Frost. Yeah. Yeah, he's like that crossover. I guess he's he's a cross between Ice T and yeah, that Latina style, yeah, yeah, which yeah. has that delinquents habits and um, like, gangster gangster yeah. side of that world. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do like you know, like the other the other stuff in that part of the world, like Snoop and mm. like yeah, I just I like. I love listening to music when I paint and I know that there's so much more music out there for me to mm. listen to because I'm not just, I don't just listen to hip hop, I listen to all all different types of music. I like yeah. to keep like, my mind fresh about it. Mm. Like sometimes maybe like later in the day at night or wherever, like mostly at night like, I listen to like some, I don't know, like atmospheric music. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of like it, it settles me like maybe to like sketch something even paint you know mm. trigger something it's the energy within so, it i mean I yeah. some people like i he won't yeah. he won't listen to music while he's painting he's like that just doesn't trigger him yeah some people some people paint but they don't listen to music some people they do i mean i think it's all depends like because i'm from much younger i've always grown up with headphones in my ears mm-hmm. whereas if you're from much older it's gonna be very different yeah for real so I think, especially someone in my generation, you meet so many people who are, are younger, even, you know, who, who always have headphones in. Like, when I came mm. in earlier, mm. I had them in, and I had to take them out literally just before we started. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there'll be music blaring through the microphone <laughs> onto the podcast. <laughs> look, 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 look. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And that's it'll right. be uh, probably a... Keeping gi- that PRS rolling for the music. Yeah, and it'll probably it? be a guilty habit song, you know what I mean? Oh, my luck. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. Like, boy meets... <laughs> Boy meets girl waiting for a starter fall or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, could you imagine? It's emotional, though, isn't it? I mean, these yeah. things, uh, uh, I really appreciate it when, when writers say, you know, I actually am into this sort of genre, or I am into this sort of thing, because um, not that it matters, but but um, it's an emotional thing. Fi- I mean, you're there for six hours painting. Sometimes longer, you know. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes, if I, like, what, normally in the winter, what are sometimes what I'll do <laughs> the wind oh my is, god um, yeah like if I really want to like you know if I'm feeling to paint a big big one um, I'll try and get there early as possible you know in the winter and you wake up and it's already dark it's still dark for the 8am oh, yeah. you know and uh, I'll get to the, uh, the wall I won't normally paint a wall that's got a high turnover just in case because I'll paint it finish in the dark and I'll come back the next day for photos and I always bring a few cans in case I've missed anything, mm. maybe touch a few bits up. Mm. Because if I if I do have to come back the next day, always go home, look at the photo and be like, Fuck. right. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes like you get yeah. that bit and oh my God, that bit of that K, like I need to sort that out. It's just going to kill you if you don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with me, I really like to get the quality in, but also the quantity. Mm. So I like to paint often. Like I'll, like, I'll paint sometimes... You know, quick things here and there, you know. But how do you but, do you know? that? How do you keep the quantity with the quality? Because your each piece is definably, you can see it's you, obviously because it's on Instagram, hello, yeah. hello. But, but what I mean is that the quality and the your attack is like each one is, there's a variety there. Now, how do yeah. you turn that around so quickly then? 
what do you mean by the like variety of styles? Yeah, or what? yeah. Just a, it's just a development and a twist, and it's and then whether you're not you're putting the photos up at different times of the week to when you do it is one thing, yeah. but like it's still impressive. Like the amount your the work rate is pretty pretty yeah. there, man. Well, I mean, right now, like. I'm still not back to work. I'm waiting to go back in a couple of weeks. But um, since the lockdown, mm. I've painted like maybe 30. Crazy. So, I, mean, I just like I said, like right at the start, I've just been trying to stay busy. Mm. Um, even before, like, you know, like each year I've been painting and I've always, each year it's like been a more progressive year as mm. well. So each year, if I want to keep, keep doing more each year, it's going to mm. be harder. Mm. Mm. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like sometimes I'll paint. I'll be like, let's just do, you know, paint a quick one here. Let's go to like some chill spot. Let's go like down under this bridge or whatever, mm. you know. And so it's not about prime location. It's about where you can, where you know it's going to last a little bit longer than yeah, other places. Yeah, not also just last, but I like to rotate my spots. I don't just like painting the same. Mm. You know, I like going to like some weird place mm. out in the sticks, mm. like near the river or something. I mm. like. And like you know, and when you do it, cause like sometimes it's good to just be like, right, let's not paint this weekend. Let's go have a wander. Mm. Let's see what I can find. Let's see, you know, if there's some random wall in a forest somewhere or next mm. to a river or, and this, and then you know, come back, mm. maybe just get something for it, and then, you know, um, well, normally not well all the time. The piece is always in my head. The letters are in my head, but like you know. Yeah. When I come back from um, plotting somewhere, I always maybe sketch, like, you know, keep that motivation mm. going. And then a couple of days later, or, or whenever, like a month or so, I'll just go mm. and do it. Mm. You know, it's always good to find so new really spots. Give it some sort of, yeah. Like how much of it consumes you, this process? Because the way you describe it, it's like, right, leave your cans there, get the map. I want that one, that one, that one, that one over a space yeah. of two weeks. I've walked around there, I'm going to go around there. Yeah. And then you slowly start tracking what you're doing into into pieces. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. that's a lot, isn't it? It is. And especially like if you're going far out in the middle of nowhere or you're a long way from a main road, you're walking a lot. Mm. Like sometimes you're walking maybe four or five hours, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes a day yeah. to like go find some spots or you're on like a little route, like, right, let's go check this one and then mm. another one's a bit further down, mm. this and that. So, and then, and then you go paint there and then you'll have like a wicked photo that potentially no one else has got because mm. they don't know where it is. Yeah, it's cold. You yeah. know, or... Or it's only cert or any certain people, or if only a few people know because they've done the same thing as you. Mm. Um, you know, I think with graph is a really like mysterious mm. aspect to it when it comes to like, like um, I don't know. Like one thing that really that I really like is going to another country and then you see someone from your country or your mate or whatever, and they've been there maybe five years before you, and you're like, oh, yeah, done that. yeah, 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 that's sick, right? Yeah, yeah, and like you know, and yeah, that's that's good. That's the mysterious thing. You're like Jesus Christ, like they've yeah. been here. Like, like once, um, one of my friends from Paris, he writes SMAP, and um, he's a bit older than me. I was in Portugal mm. with my mate. And we were just finished painting this spot near the beach, up on this um, like really high fucking like, like maybe thirty foot high mm -hmm. drop down basically below at night. And he was like, look, 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 your friend from Paris on this electrical box in the middle of bloody nowhere yeah. in Portugal. And I was just like, oh, my God. I took a picture of it and sent it to him. And he was like, oh, my yeah, God, yeah. like, you were there, like, a year after like, I did it. Isn't and that it was like... in, like, it was in some small, like, village yeah. in, in Algarve. And it was just, like, mental, like. That must be, like, the most highest of praise. I remember yeah. when I was in, I think I was in Scotland and Tizer done a tag in a toilet and I was just, Pissed. I think I dropped. <laughs> I think I even dropped the toilet roll. I was so drunk. And oh I my pick god! Up and I see his tag just like there. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, so I quickly take a photo, send it to him. And there's something so connective about that. Isn't yeah, yeah, it? yeah. Literally, like, yeah. I think when you see, or even like, not even someone you, that you know, person, someone that you know of, <laughs> you really like this stuff, and you go somewhere, and you're like, oh my god, he's even been there, or yeah. like, he's been there. Yeah. Even sometimes sheep, because there are girl writers, mm -hmm. you know, like. You know, and yeah, enough girl writers, yeah, they're, mm, for they're, real, they're, you know, and some of them are doing some really good stuff, but like 
whoever whoever it is painting, and mm. you're like, oh my god, they've been here. Like, mm-hmm. um, like yeah, it's just it's just crazy. Yeah. Like you you see some people in the weirdest places sometimes, and you'll be like, how the hell did you find this? Mm. Or but then you'll but then you've just found it. Yeah. So you're yeah, in the yeah, same yeah. boat, you know. Do you do the must be a moment as well when you're doing it? You're like, oh, let's see if anyone can find this. You know what I mean? There, yeah, there's got to be that. In yeah, your yeah. Head. And then, or like a, a funny one is like you'll go paint somewhere like kind of out the way or in another country, and then you you someone will send a picture of it and you'll be like, what the hell is that still doing there? Yeah, yeah, or how yeah. did you find it? What were you doing there? So many questions. Yeah, there are literally yeah. like there was there was um, one in Holland. Me and uh, these two. One was from Spain and one was from Chile. They live here. Yeah. And um, was that that, do you know the Graf Festival Step in Arena? Of course, yeah. Yeah, 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 we, yeah for sure. He was there last year and yeah. um, we painted some like street dubs. And then like this guy like from the same city sent me a photo of like some like like a crime scene in front of it, like a police like woman or police man like, yeah, just, yeah. just sitting there like that, like standing in front of it like that. And just like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Um what was that on TV? No, they just sent me a photo of it. They literally just saw it and they were just like, oh, I'm, I kind of know. I've seen them guys before. Maybe I can find mm. them on Instagram. They find you mm. maybe and then be like, yeah, well, yeah, I've just seen sure. that like just now. And it's yeah. like, oh my God, like another cool photo. It's kind of led my mind to a wonder there as you were talking. Yeah. Then I started thinking about that whole act of doing something that is so super like, you know, it, opportunist and getting it done and thinking well if anyone's going to see that again you know like if they do then it's proper kudos because yeah. you know what I mean sometimes it goes the next day yeah, sometimes yeah. you know but when they last forever and then you see it on a, a TV report yeah or in, a news report or yeah. in the newspaper or in a, like what? that's the man one thing that I like and I think people have known me for a little while I love roadsides like I fucking love them and um, when, like, sometimes you'll be looking for a spot on maybe Google Maps or something, and you'll be like, right, I like that spot, this and that. But then, you like, you see your friend there, whatever. And then sometimes, like, I've got a few, like, around like, in Italy and Portugal where it's a roadside, and uh, there's a funny story to one of them. Mm-hmm. And um, I was on Google Maps just, like, checking to see, because I remember exactly where they were. I, yeah. I can kind of... Like, if I remember the spot, it's kind of in my head. Yeah. And um, I was, like, just going down that motorway. And I just see my piece there on the side of, like, the, the road on Google Maps. And I'm just like, yeah, like, that's yeah, sick. That's like, it's... so sick. But um, one of one of them is, like, a big pink wild style. It was pitch black at night and um, in Portugal. And um, I started painting. It was quite big. Um started painting it and there was like there was a few holes there's a few plants like around it and i was like you know be careful but obviously pitch black holes you can't always see them yeah, yeah, yeah. And i think i was outlining and then um, i went to i had two cans for the outline and um went to what the first one finished so i went to get the second one it's a hole right by my bag foot went in it and there was a big cactus plant <gasps> literally next to it and I was like oh my god and then he literally fed in it Fuck. and then when you see it on Google Maps that cactus plant like grew like even more it's like about <laughs> 10 it's the, it's the height of the wall about 10 foot and um, that one's still there it's been there about two years and it's a big like kind of like small tree growing in front of it but um, integrated it it's yeah. it feels grown enough yeah. yeah it's so sick I was like Jesus Christ if I fed in that like yeah, you know, you just catches, you're in trouble as well. Like you can have to call the ambulance out and this and that. But um, but you know, it's like it's a high class yeah. problem when you're but traveling like, and touring yeah. with graph and you get a cactus in the way. That's like yeah. a whole other level yeah. of kudos, yeah, right? You don't get that here. <laughs> but then what would happen is like you'll be like you'll be so bloody paranoid to just get out of there. The adrenaline will mm. override the pain. Yeah. You'll just get in like the car, whoever I was with, my friend and another guy, another English guy. Mm. We've been the like the car and then you start calming down and be like, oh my god my leg like this massive yeah. like it all relaxes thorns yeah. sticking out like the so when you calm down over the adrenaline the pain starts to yeah. come up but luckily that didn't happen like I managed just to kind of swerve out the way of that cactus because it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like 
some of the leaves like, were like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So it's spikes. one of the flat ones. Yeah, yeah, and oh, it had mate. those big spikes. Big ones, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that would be an acupuncture session. Yeah, could you, oh. yeah, could you imagine? Like, and um, what's the most riskiest of? Uh, I mean, that sounds pretty, you know, prickly. Cactus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, what's the most, you know, risky of places that you've uh, you've painted? What in terms of like? Just, yeah, just in terms of getting up. Because you and me, obviously, we're talking to someone that's yeah. internationally travelled, so there's got to be yeah. some like crazy moments. I mean, there has been some crazy, um, risky. I'm trying to think, but my friend who was. Like he wasn't painting. Mm. He had an accident. Mm. It wasn't like that, that much of a riskier spot, but it was in um, Italy and um, painting painting his bridge. And um, he was there. I've known him for about a year. He used to live in Bournemouth, but he moved back to Italy, and he doesn't really paint too much mm. now. But um, this was b- about four years ago, and um, yeah. So I was painting his bridge. He was kind of just like watching, keeping a lookout, just just in case, you mm-hmm. know. And um, this, this train came by, so I get down. He gets down, and I hear him go, ow. And I'm like, no, you're right. Mm-hmm. And so I get up, bearing in mind I've just basically sat down in big nettles. And I get up, and he starts coming over to me. And he's like, what have you done? And he's like, he gets the eyebrow, and he's like, split his eyebrow open, <laughs> smacks his head on a brick, and he's just like, Bleh. and there's like blood coming all the way down his eye. But that's not a risky one. No, no, but that's those... just, it, that, that that stuff happens, you know. Yeah. And, you know, especially with the face, you know, blood just pours out of those places, yeah, it's like right above his eyebrow. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. But risky, I don't know. Like anything with height, I guess, has that mm. risk. Anything. I, don't know. I was yeah. talking to two ways about that. The, the, yeah. the height thing is what the new kind of thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but like, e- like even like. You know, rooftops, they like sometimes, well, I think a lot, right? I think a lot of people in general, maybe free runners, have this as well. <laughs> you only think of the way up. You don't ever think of looking at the building when you're plotting, thinking, oh, I can get up there, just get on that pipe, whatever. And then you never think of the way down because sometimes <laughs> the way down is a lot harder. Yeah. You know, you're going, you know, you can't always see that ledge you've got to put your foot on or. You know, so getting down, I think, is even more important. Because imagine paying something, you're stuck on that roof, <laughs> and then the day comes, and then, yeah. like, you know, you know yeah. I'm just sitting there, you know. But I think with rooftop, I think with height. But, you know, I've fallen off, like, this... Stop this, it, really? Yeah, I've slipped off this pipe when I was younger. Um, my mate, who, who who still paints, this is when I was growing up in Bournemouth, Climbed up this like pipe outside this building, yeah. um, but then did what we had to do. It started raining, raining a lot, and this <laughs> pipe was like it was massive. It was, oh, no. it was slippy. It was yeah. about three floors up. We had to get down it, and he was like, "I'll go first And I was like, "You are not going first Because if I see you fall, I'm not getting off this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go down. I got like my hand on something, my foot on some bloke's window ledge your adrenaline must be fucking yeah and then the it dozen. was it wasn't because it was raining it was slippy and i fell oh, uh, and i fell and oh, into, mate. <laughs> into this humongous plant pot like literally it was Did it break your fall kind of but <laughs> not too much but this plant pot was about f- i don't know i don't know maybe about two or three f- feet high you know so and um, got like, a massive cut down my leg, but like anything with height, I think has a big risk. Of course, you know. And, I love and anything I... with electricity, roads, it's track sides, any anything. All oh, that can do the job. You know what? I love. Um, I do love rooftops, though. Yeah, I, you see them. You see, it, wait, you see. I think I can read your mind, but you see the city or wherever from a different perspective. Yeah. At night. Yeah. It's, it's quiet, it's tranquil, there's a few cars moving around, you know. Mm. And, you know, you're at peace with the world a little bit more because mm. it's just you or your mate or a few of you. Do mm. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Well, no, I've never done it. It's more from a sp- yeah. sp- per- per- spectator's point of view. It's like, you know, when you go into, when you roll into places like Brixton on Overground or mm. Camden to Kentish Town or, you know, these locations where you're, you're, you're plainly going over a bridge and you see drops and it's just the way yeah, that and you're like oh my god look like, at the pieces on yeah. that you know it's just and it's just such yeah. an impressive 
there's some cities that lean towards that. I remember I, I watched it. Uh, sorry, I read this book called Bomb the Suburbs by this uh, guy called Upski, and he's from Chicago, and he was saying, you know, that, that back in the mid to late 90s, Chicago was really where it was at f- with rooftops because it yeah, was like, yeah. all of the trains were high, you know, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I kind of like that about a city. Yeah. It's adaptability. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I definitely, yeah, with, with height, Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan with height, to be honest. Like, I do sometimes. Um, <laughs> Me neither, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Like, you, you meet some people and they're like, yeah, just come up here. And they've like literally climbed it with, like, yeah. without even thinking. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, it's fearless shit. Yeah, like, like skaters, isn't it? They yeah, don't yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, some like, but then I'll, but then one, I don't know, maybe put the shoe on the other foot. Like, yeah. they'll be like, how can you just paint that piece like that? Mm. It's the same thing. Like they're good at climbing. Mm. I'm not so good at climbing. Well, I'm not so, not so not that I'm not so good. But you know, when you get to a certain height, you're like, mm. especially if like you think that you could fall. Like even like, like when you're up a ladder, sometimes that ladder's moving around this and that. And um, when you're really high, you're against the wall literally. And you, this is why if I'm on a ladder, I'll turn my hat the other way the other way around because if like you're painting some something like you're there like that and you turn around and you're right up against the wall on like oh. the second or third last step on the ladder all it takes is for your hat to hit the wall and you can you're off yeah you're off so yeah but i do like being up high sometimes it's just you know getting get into it i mean there's some heavy consequences to that yeah like you when know, you people have fallen yeah. you know you know you know, like, yeah, it's just, you know. But this, you know, when you look back at a certain piece at mm. of that, you know, altitude, <laughs> or you're looking at it from like a couple of years down the line, You've, you, do you ever think to yourself, fuck, what, what was I playing at? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah, all the time. <laughs> but then, yeah, yeah, all the time, like, I don't, like, maybe I'll go do something next week and I'll be like, oh, maybe, maybe not, and you end up doing it, and then years down the line, you'll be like, I'm glad I did that, because the piece sits there really well. Mm. Whatever, you, whatever you did sits there really well. Mm. You like it, and I think to get so close to painting it and not painting it, I think is a really, like, I don't know, mm. it's kind of like a guilty thing. Like, you think, like, bloody hell, I was literally there, or whatever, and some people, like, you know, you, sometimes you get those moments when you're like, I'm not feeling this one. Like, sometimes you get that... You get booked out by something, or really? but then, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then it's always good to try and go back and actually, mm-hmm. you know, accomplish it. Yeah. So then, a few days later, even months, even days, you're like, yeah, I felt like I did something there, That's or sick. you know, but um, yeah, I think with graph, it's just like I was saying to like one of my friends in Bournemouth yesterday, saying it's a confidence thing yeah. with graph. I think like. To it's a confidence thing whether to mix with people. It's a confidence thing to, you know, really step the gears up with your style. It's a confidence thing to go to new places. You know, mm. so yeah, I mm. think I think graph is a confidence thing. Mm. You know, um, what sets you up in your youth is the thing that ultimately it guides you and takes you yeah. on your journey in life. Yeah, yeah, for real. Uh, when I was, when I was young, I was really fortunate to have toured the world, perform with different people. Yeah, yeah. And what it does is it gives you boosts. It kind of ego's the right word. Makes you confident. People don't like confidence a lot. People find confidence a threat. Do you Sometimes, know what I mean? yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, but you have yeah. to you 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 build up these this armor as you get older and as you get into things and when not only as you get older but as you 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 hit an achievement mm. and it could be a small milestone in some people's minds or it could be a really big fucking deal to every, you and everyone yeah, else yeah, yeah. but by doing it it's like well there's i'm, unt- I'm untouchable I've yeah, got this. I've got yeah this, you, you know? feel like you've actually mm. you know you've actually i don't know what Wait, the words just gone straight out, mate. But you know, you feel like you've actually conquered something. That's yeah. what I was looking for. Like you feel like you conquered something. Yeah. Um, you know, and these small milestones here mm. and there, whether or not, like from if you really are going to go back, 
your first tag. That's the first milestone. A huge share. Yeah. Your Ooh. first tag that you actually kind of thought was worthwhile. That's another. And then your first out on your first dub, your first page, your first whatever. I feel that. that each first sense. thing's like a first milestone. And when you when you do a few of each, you start getting more confident. Mm. And then you know you can you get more confident around people as well. Yeah. You know. But some people they they really take to people, and some people they really. You know, on their ones. Or oh, they take Wait, a little time to kind of. Yeah, I, yeah. I, like I some people that. like to like, they're like straight away like really talk. Even then you get some people and they're like they want to suss you out a bit, or you want to suss them out. Depends mm. who you are, you know how you are as a person. But you know, at the end of the day, I think most people are quite sociable mm. in in what we do. Do you think you know? that there's a first impression side to this as well? Not just yeah. a, not just with people like, and the way they are mm. as p- personalities and. How they calculate yeah. social situations, but with graph because of the the, the the there's two sides to a person. Like yeah, there's almost two <laughs> different people, you know. You know, like the, the big, you know, huge epicness of a piece, or you know, yeah, like, and then there's the other person. Sometimes yeah. they're not not as notorious in their stature. or... In, yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, Jeez, I find interesting. I, I yeah, it's true. yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. Like in graph, I think it's quite rare to meet the graph writer and the characteristic of that mm. person, mm. and because that takes a lot of time to get used get to, to know people, get yeah. to know people, because you get to know the graph writer of them of their persona a lot quicker and a lot easier than who they actually are because you're doing the same thing you're mm. got, you're in common with stuff and when you start finding out you know um getting to know people you start to understand who they actually are as well mm. um but one one thing that i really you know i think a lot of people will probably um maybe agree with like graffiti writers sometimes they never expect to look how wait um sometimes graffiti writers will We'll, you won't always expect them to look how they look. Mm. You know, like sometimes you'll you'll meet writers and be like, "Whoa, I expect you to look different," or, you know. So I think that's another thing with graph. Like, mm. we're all different. You know, <laughs> we're time. all different. <laughs> Big time, bro. You know, I mean, there's sometimes I'm just like totally like gobsmacked about the the personalities in graph are they're actually to me as much a part of the story. So wide, so wide range as well. It's crazy, and how people dress as well. There's so many like, and why they're into graph. Yeah, and, like, yeah, what the, yeah. You know the, how they talk, how they hold themselves. You know. Yeah. The you whole know. thing is just like a little mini, a, a mini town. <laughs> literally, <laughs> yeah, people. literally, it's like we've all been stored in this box somewhere, and like we only, like we only go out when we want to yeah. go paint, and then we go back to like, yeah. yeah. But that's literally it. Yeah, that's why it's like graph community. Yeah, yeah. Whether or not it's. Proper. It should be like toys made of you guys. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what, like mini action men yeah, figures like, of like with spray cans. Yeah, yeah. And that. yeah and like, f- you know, because you're all like so fucking different, man. Like, yeah. it's like a set of fucking Marvel toys or some yeah. shit. You know what I mean? It's like collect them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally buy them all. But, you know what um, I mean? Yeah, like we've, yeah, we've, we've crap. There's like, I don't know, like, like you got people. I don't know, it branches out from a certain area mm. in a certain say, I don't know, somewhere in South London, wherever. Mm. So you got I like going I like I quite like Stockwell. So you've got Stockwell and then you've got, you know, the area around Stockwell, Lambeth, and then you've got Southwest mm-hmm. or South East, and you've got South and you've got London and you've got mm-hmm. you know, South East of the country and then yeah. it branches out. So and when when it keeps branching out, so many more different people to meet, so many more different styles to see uh-huh. so many more like st- stories to tell yeah. and stories to listen to yeah. so what is what makes this this particular platform quite, great yeah like you were saying it's like people don't actually know the faces to the names and i don't think mm. there's an expectation to know the faces there's a there's a there's a there's a mystique to that in itself mm. but um i think it's i think it's like valuable that yeah there's certain aspects yeah, yeah, yeah. to people's personalities that come exactly. out in these conversations um, yeah, I mean, when it comes to, like, people's like, actual faces, like, the graph speaks for itself. Yeah, you know? I agree. Like, that, I agree, that, man. You know. Um, I'm always conscious of it. Yeah. You know, I'm always surprised when people don't want, 
you know, their faces covered with pixel art. Because I know it's yeah. it's not actually entirely all about the incognito, what have you done wrong thing. It's not that. It's the, it's the dead mouse effect. Yeah, it's like, and it's also like, it's not always like, you, like I see it. Like, I think it's quite common to see it. Like, like you see someone maybe being shy about covering themselves up when they go paint, but it's not always about what they've done. Mm. It's about what in the future. Because, yeah. you know, if, if you've done a few bits here and there, you show your face after a little while, you've shown your face. Mm. And if you want to go back to smashing trains 10 years later with the same name because you built that name up, you can't. I've thought so, about that. So it's not only it, yeah. about the past; mm. it's about the future. Mm. You know, like, like I don't know. I don't know. I see it quite a lot on the internet, like you know, well, on, on the memes and stuff yeah. like that. You know. I've generally never thought about it like that. Like you know, like uh, yeah, they, yeah, they might not have done too much like illegal stuff in the past or whatever, or they do every bits here and there. But they've still done something, and all right, they may do a lot of like illegal stuff, this mm. and that. Like I count myself in that. You know, um, he says, well, can we put yeah. that thing up a little bit higher, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keeps falling down. It's quite hot under here as it's well. All right, it's all right. Um, COVID but, crew now, come on. But you know, but you know, um, I think it's graffiti is always about f the future. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. It's just good to be careful. But then when it does come to the alter ego, people in graph, like, it's about their pieces. You know them for their pieces. You don't necessarily mm. know them from their mm. appearance. Mm. You know, so graph is about the pieces, how how you paint, how your attitude is. Well, that's a big one, like your reputation. Mm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, there's a lot of reasons why people... Attitudes can change. Yeah, of course they can. And art is evergreen. That's, yes, that's basically what you're saying. So mm. it's about the past, about the future. It's more so about the legacy yeah, yeah, of mm. you, you know. Mm. I mean, the worst thing someone can do is not not always think the whole process through mm. of maybe even a plot. Um, Reacting too hastily. Yeah. Hastily, is that the right? Yeah, 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 I think so. But, um, yeah, I think the the main thing is just to, like, you know, if, if you are conscious about your appearance, just don't ever show it because mm. whether or not you think you've done a lot or not too much mm. you never know what the future holds yeah, yeah. you know um, and being like kind of a young younger writer I think that's quite important for yeah. for youngins to see that even mm. older everyone I think like just to maybe um, not just think about the past yeah, but the real. future yeah. and other people's futures you know yeah. like I said earlier like yeah, they, they may have crushed it a lot like maybe 10 years ago, they might not do so much anymore or they might just do chill legals on a Sunday, whatever. Because I appreciate all forms of graph. Mm. So, um, yeah, the future. So if you want to go back out hitting trackside trains, motorways in 10 years' time, but you're showing your face, mm. you would change the name. But mm. sometimes you don't want it because that name is you. Mm -hmm. It's your alter ego persona. Mm. So, yeah, I think that's quite an, quite an important one, the future, how mm. you think how you think the graph will pave your way in your life. So, yeah. It's evergreen, isn't it? And the way you talk is with, with such uh, knowledge and passion mm. that it just seems to me that it's totally consumed you. Like, yeah. It's just, this is yeah. your life, yeah, this is bro. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of writers who, like, this is their life. And, you know, I think if you really are serious about something you ha you're gonna have to go in go yeah. deep. yeah yeah and um it's like anything whether or not it's music i don't know cycling driving whatever mm. like if it really really is your life then you'll do kind of you make any excuse to do it yeah. you know like if you, if you love playing music yeah. and and it's your life you'll do literally anything to do it do you ever worry so, that it might just like i've never asked anyone this Go on. Do you ever do you ever think to yourself like one day that there might be something prohibiting you? Not that you're thinking of the worst. It could be a best case scenario, but but do you think that far ahead? Like, is there a shelf life to this, or is this just like I, I just can't I can't envisage it stopping? What like oh, as in like will I keep going for years and years? For kinda? sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've you put too much skill set. You put too yeah. much skill into your. Craft and you know, there. I've always been. A lot of these guys. I've always been a creative kid. <laughs> mm. 
like when I was younger, I would always draw. This is maybe where I get the wild style, like actually from. But I always used to draw. I've loved buildings. I've loved cities and stuff like mm. that, you know. And um, I always used to draw, draw like buildings when I was younger, maybe like eight or nine years old. Mm. I mean, they when I look back, they were they were awful. But you know, when you were a kid, you loved doing it. And when mm. when you're a kid and you do something and you got passion about it, mm. that normally sets in your teenage years and it goes on but i used to also like to draw like like bird's eye view roads of cities that are road here and a bridge you know that's maybe where i get that kind oh, of sick like spaghetti junction looking yeah yeah spaghetti graph. junction <laughs> wild style graph spaghetti junction graph <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah like when i was a kid that's what that's what i like to do i've always been creative like since i could hold a pencil that's fire you know so I've always been drawing, and I think a lot of a lot of kids are creative when they are. Yeah. You know, it's just whether or not it actually transcends yeah. into that adolescence and then into the adulthood. I think it's encouragement, isn't it? I remember yeah. my nan used to be like well into my nan. I have got two nans. But one of them died, obviously. Mm. Um, the one that died. She was always like super encouraging about my art, kind of yeah. encouraging about. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like, yeah, no, I can't really sing. Go on, sing. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. it's like that sort of yeah, thing, you know. Then you, you think, oh, God, is being Q still open <laughs> yeah. for a new window? Yeah. You know, but, um, yeah. but, the, but I think when you're a young kid, or if you've got a young kid or know a young kid, and whatever age they are, just get, G them up. G them up. them up. Yeah. G them up because they are the future. They're mm. going to be the ones holding yeah, them down yeah. in 20 years' time, 20, yeah. 30, where, when, where, whatever, you know. Yeah. You know, it's always important to give motivation to the young, younger, I mean, I mean way younger. Yeah, like, like 10, kid, 11, 12, younger. Even that. like toddlers even, you know. Just remind them that creativity yeah, is the yeah, one. Yeah, and you know, when you give a kid that boost, they won't forget it, mm, you true. know, because they're they're especially if they really enjoy it, mm. you know. Like, I think I think creativity is a real key form in life. It's good for the soul as well when it's you give very someone good a, for the soul, yeah. and you know, to to keep pushing people, whether or not it's kids, even olders, like even I don't know, maybe maybe your maybe your grandpa has mm. got like he's found a niche for something, and you're like right. Come on, you're mm. gonna do this, whether or not it's like you want to redo the garden or whatever. It's good to always give people that oomph, like you know, set a fire on them to be like, you can do this. Yeah, you know, I'm here if you need help, but you know, do it. Super important, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. There's no, you know, putting people down. It's you know, it's yeah. not gonna make. It's kind of easily done, isn't yeah, it? It's not gonna make. It's not gonna do you any good. It's not gonna do them yeah. any good. So, facts. You know, I think. But then there is that thing of, you know, um, you know, like sometimes people criticise because they want to, they think that you can do better. They mm. want to, you know, you know that um, it's constructive criticism, that's mm. also key as well. Mm. So if you if you got, know someone that you think, if they only did that a little bit differently, you want to do that, mm. let, let them know. Critique that shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, let them, yeah. let them know and be be nice about it. It's super important, know. I think, critique. Yeah, be nice about right. it, you know, be like... People like super sensitive about certain things, yeah. aren't they, these which, days? Which, which is completely understandable because, like, sometimes you're just, you're doing your thing and, mm. you know, you're really enjoying it. But, you know, I think to push people in a manner of you care about what they do to anyone in life not only in mm. graph but you know anyone like if you've got like a i don't know a younger brother or mm. something keep them going keep them motivated. whether keep or not them. they mm. like motorbikes or whatever you know mm -hmm. keep keep them at it mm -hmm. so i think that's important to it's like, super important yeah especially with young young ones because mm. they're going to be the ones really like i mean the teenagers now like in in school they like, you know they can use a mobile phone like yeah, that's crazy. Like literally, like they've had it for centuries. You know, yeah, well, they, you know they, they know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. But they know exactly yeah. what to do with it. Yeah. They they can draw on a phone. They can do whatever on a phone. So I think the technology side. I think that's what people need to remember. Yeah, they need to remember that from a creative standpoint. Is that you know just because it wasn't like that back in your day, or just because you didn't don't have the same software as them 
these kids are coming through like like killing it yeah yeah especially with technology just, and music just the way it is yeah yeah I mean like it's the same like I don't know like 1900s mm. people went to work on a horse yeah 1930s like cars yeah and then you know nowadays you have Ubers and yeah. trains and everything mm. every you know everything and it's only going to develop more mm. by people who are younger coming up with ideas mm -hmm. and transcending them onto the next generation because you know people that created car like you know the horse carriage mm. went on to the next generation made cars yeah, yeah, yeah. the next generation made this the next mm. one made that next one made this it's you know? exciting it's it is exciting time, it man. literally is it literally is you know and especially like now there's a lot of like what's going on in the world you know i think there needs to be a lot more positive, mm. more positivity around, you know, mm. like, you know. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. Like, Times you, is changing, man. Exactly, they are. They literally are changing. Do you feel, rapid. do you feel like you do a piece for Instagram more than you do a piece for, from a technology point of view? Technology, right, Do you on. feel like you do a piece more for the exposure of it on Instagram or do you do it for the discovery of someone seeing it? Both. Both. Both, yeah. Mm. There is no way that you can have an Instagram account and be like, I'm doing it fully for myself because you're, cause you're not. Because mm -hmm. you're uploading it for the world to see, which is mm. amazing. For, mm. for some guy, for you to upload your piece in London, within a minute, some guy in South Africa has seen it or wherever. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know, but then I love painting a piece. Like yesterday, um, paint, like I came back from Bournemouth last night, but you know, before then I went for a paint mm. and, you know, kids came coming up with their parents saying, oh my God, I love the colours, I love this, I love that. And with kids, like, like again, it's about educating them, mm. you know, for it. But I love, like, the amount of times that people have been like, oh my God, I've never seen people do graffiti and then they actually watch you do it and they're like, oh my God, I didn't have a clue. It was it's like this. It's quite crazy, isn't it? Like, yeah, you know, like, and, you know, there's... um. <laughs> Like one thing I like is I like, I like seeing people smile on their face, and you actually show them how you, you know mm. you go about, and they actually understand it. You know, like once when well, when it was like the proper lockdown, just after that, when I like, use it, it was come outside a little bit more. Me and my friends went to go paint this plot. Mm. It was down in Bournemouth, and it was in like this really like um, sort of like nice like nice you know suburban area. And um, we painted it before, but there's a big wall and that like there's a gate and past mm. the gate people have painted, but we haven't really painted before the gate, which is visible to a tennis court. <laughs> and mm. you know, in a nice area of tennis players, you know, you know, yeah, you know got this one. Let's get this yeah, thing yeah. going. Yeah. But we just thought, right, let's just try it. Let's just do it. And because um, then you're the first person yeah, to do it. Yeah, I mean, there was a few blams on it, you know, and that, that that's also a tactic to blam something up a little bit, mm. you know, until it gets too much, and then you. Yeah, can... yeah, and then you'll be like, "Oh, it's already painted." Um, yeah. what do you want to see? That or bearing in mind, I love tags. I'm not taking any away from no, that. No, I know what you mean. But yeah, 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 and for the public, <laughs> for the public, your work your way up to it, <laughs> you know, and people like old old people like you know walking their dog, you know. Like, you know, sometimes oh, I think there was one lady with like, she must have been about mm, mid eighties with a walking suit for a little like white poodle and being like, oh my god, like I love this and love that. And you know, when there's a news report of about gra graffiti, they're like, oh my god, it makes old people feel like, like yeah. unsafe. I mean, it does. But when people see colours mm. and you talk to them about it and they see effort, they yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah, it kind of regentrifies, yeah, place, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, like there's so many places <laughs> around the world. That graph wasn't there, and it's gone there, and people love it. Yeah. Makes it colourful. It yeah. makes you know. And then that's your plot. That becomes a thing. And it slowly spreads out and spreads yeah. out and spreads out. You know. That's what I love about graph, yeah. man. So so yeah, I mean, you know, in today's world, you know, Instagram is very good, but it's also has has its bad sides about it. Like you can't always like if you see a really nice piece from someone, you not you you haven't seen it in real life. Yeah, I know. So, you know. I like seeing shit. I mean, I've got yeah. Trellick just down the road. Yeah, yeah, spoiled, I thought it was coming up. Yeah, but you know what I mean? It's like, I like going down to places and just yeah, checking it I out. Love, I love going out and seeing graph. Yeah. Like, like, and I think when you go out and see it, you learn more because yeah. you actually see, you know, what, what's around you. Yeah, bro, you um, can't ever underestimate the, the skill set of anyone doing no. 
anything with, with, a, with a spray paint. Like, it's just, it's... Mm. Anything with a spray can is just like, to me, yeah. it's just like, well, what the fuck? Yeah, there's so you... much you can do with it. Yeah. And, you know, but um, when it does come to like the Instagram and, and the social medias, there is good things about mm. it. Like, you know, you make connections. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be here now if you didn't come message on. me. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, like, there, there's a real positive thing about mm. it. But then there are some negatives that like you can't always go and see that person's piece. Or, you know, one thing is like, think potentially before you upload. Will this get me into trouble? Would this do me any harm in the future? So that there's that as, as, aspect of it. Mm. But then it's a very beautiful thing that you can communicate with anyone around the world. Whether or not they graph right. If you, if you see that, I don't know, maybe they make massive models of like animals and you think that's really good mm. you can just you know message and be like i really rate your stuff mm. whether or not whether or not you want to learn how to do it or not you've seen what they've done and they might live in new zealand for sure you know and that cheese them up like, yeah 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 boost. and then mm. and then you know then you know sometimes i think like you can speak to someone on online who does the same thing as you and you'll be best friends mm -hmm. you know whether or not they live thousands of miles away so i think that's a beautiful mm -hmm. thing as well you know it's like great, making isn't it? connections yeah yeah, yeah. The world's getting ever so smaller S but i like the fact slowly. also that you can yeah. from a creative medium you can take it right back to the roots because mm. because graph and music they've 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 walked that path of like being the simplest form mm. of expression with zero to the most powerful form yeah. with everything at its fingertips. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is. It's literally mad. Yeah. And, like, you know, when, when, Pete, when, you know, trains get done, they move from place to place. Yeah. You know, some trains around the world, they go through many countries. Mm. And it's, I mean, it's not the same thing, obviously, but it's still going from somewhere to another place. Yeah. I mean, always with, with, with social yeah. media, it's instant. With that train, it might take four days to mm. get from somewhere to another place. So it's like, mm. you know, what's that that Russian, mm. the trans Siberian Railway? Yeah, for real. I mean, I don't know if they get painted, but, you know, it's still going from... Yeah, know, it, one to the other. Yeah, all the way from yeah. one side of Russia to basically the other. Yeah, yeah. That's essentially Europe to China. It literally <laughs> is. It goes right across and, you know... I mean, I first came aware of that. I was watching Idiot Abroad and Carl Pilkington is so funny. When he sat <laughs> on that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a bookshelf and it's a bed. He's like, oh, my God, am I going in the rough parts? He was in, like, a really nice yeah. carriage. They couldn't <laughs> speak English. He couldn't speak Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, he was it's... going through the trains and I was like, I mean, am I in the rough part here? And it's like, mm. he keeps going. It's like <laughs> third class. He's like, literally sat on, like, a mantelpiece <laughs> shelf as a bed. But that, <laughs> stuff like that, I think when, that's what the experiences are about. Isn't yeah, it? exactly. And you know, sometimes when you, when if you, I don't know, if you're in another country, they can't speak your language, mm. you can't speak theirs. You have to think quick. How mm. am I going to communicate with yeah. them? You know, I've had plenty of conversations with people. Sometimes here, because you know, tourists they mm. don't always speak English or yeah. English too well, or like you don't, you might not speak their language too well, mm. but you know a bit. Mm. Sometimes you know, Google Translate is yeah. it really oh, helps you out. You know, yeah, yeah. If they, if I mean, when you go to Asia and whatnot, they have a different translating system. Oh my, yeah, which is different a whole different scripts. Piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a whole different piece. Yeah. But you know, like music and graph and all these sorts of disciplines, they they do the talking for you. Yeah, they're an international language, language. you know. Yeah. Like you don't actually need to say too much. It's like no. the, 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 pe the piece and that, the piece, even how you hold yourself at the wall, it speaks for itself. Yeah. So, yeah, I think like, yeah, I think even like with London, this, I think this must be at least one person from every country here. Mm, yeah, for sure. For like, for almost definite. Yeah. So, you know, it's good to mix with different cultures, yeah. different people from around the world, you know. And that's what makes the styles vary the world. Actually, it does fall into formation, but but it's its own look. Mm. So, you know, and I do feel like UK as a whole breed, breeds its own look. Yeah. You know, when I, when I think of the South Coast, when I think of, you know, up north in Nottingham, Manchester. Liverpool, Liverpool Leeds. Liverpool, Leeds. Yeah, man, like it's Glasgow, Scotland, you know, hold tight, all that area crew, man, like... 
so much so much quality out there and it's only building man and new generations yeah. coming through each time doing exactly, it exactly exactly you know you know i mean if it wasn't for those like pioneers mm. of the graph writers then you know graph mm. would be a very different thing you right. know i mean it would still be around because graf- graffiti in its broadest form writing on the wall has been around since, you know the cavemen yeah. you know but you know, if it wasn't for the pioneers, who knows what graph would be mm. like now? Would mm. would it be different? Yeah, it would. For real, but how different, different? You know. Yeah, like, like, that's another thing. And mm. I think one thing with graph is like where you go in the world, the styles change. Mm. You know, sometimes you can see a style, and you'll be like, "I know, I'm in this country." Mm. But you know, you're in that country. But you get that sense mm. of like, "Yeah, I'm here now." You know. Mm-hmm. You know, so. I think that's really good. It's a really good thing. Really good thing, you know. Really good thing to like be inspired by the world. That's and take fire. take it on your on yourself to contribute. Get, yeah, yeah, contribute. I think you know. Mm. Don't don't take give. Mm. You know, you know. Let 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 the good things come to you, but give to the world. Give your style to the you know. That's fine. What a sentiment. What a sentiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, look, look, let's get some shout outs going. Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, the, the the guys who I grew up with in Bournemouth, like, they all know who they are. Like, well, the, they all know. The, yeah, the GM mm-hmm. crew, graffiti morons. Mm-hmm. Nice. There's a story to that. Okay. Well, I'm not, I wasn't like, I, was, I joined a couple of years later because when the crew formed, I was basically starting out. Mm. But it came from this building getting painted. Like it was abandoned. It all came from this building getting painted um, one night, and the article was like graffiti morons. And so, perfect. Yeah, it was like <laughs> that, the guy, <laughs> the, the guys who formed it, like Nuzo, Nuzo especially. Mm-hmm. You know, Noko. All, all, the, all my friends there. You know, they took that and be like, we're creating a crew from this. That's sick. So that's sick. See, this morons. is not that fucking. Bomb of knowledge, come on. Yeah, exactly. And it's important to know where you come from yeah. and remember where you come from. For real. Whether or not. Like, I mean, I've only left there two years ago, but I never, when I grow up, say when I'm 40, hopefully I'll still be painting. Hopefully, mm. hopefully I will, mm-hmm. but you never know. Mm. You never know. I might get some problems with my wrist or, mm. you know, you might find something else, but you never know. It's always good to remember where you come from. That's right. GM, hold tight. Bomb of crew, hold GM. tight. Yeah. They Next, all know right? who they are. Fucking and, brother. Yeah, and it's just ed- everyone else who who's rocking their own stuff. Yeah, got time for. That's right. Everyone. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The style Ev- definers. Yeah, li- literally ev- everyone who who who's you know who's who's just I don't know just enjoying what they do. Mm. That that's the way. That's the thing yeah. I want to say. Yeah. It's infectious. Enjoy enjoy what they do. Happy doing it. For whatever reason, whether or not it's the paint, the baddest burner, or get a thrill, be the most up, whatever, whatever mm. it is, you know, the I always appreciate it, mm. you know, so yeah. So do we. The so culture yeah. it's all about, man. So Love yeah, it. big up killer. <laughs> all tight, yeah. all tight. Ladies nice and gentlemen, one. thank you so much. The mighty nurks inside the place coming through. Um, thank you very much, brother. Killed it. No worries. Killed it, man. We've got some new, new yeah. conversations to be had right here, all right? Keeping it locked in yeah. and loaded. Killer Color Podcast, striking with a vengeance, all right? So for now, until next time, you stay lucky, all right? Don't talk to any strange ones, yeah? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pleasure, man. <laughs> stay lucky, my brother. Stay lucky and stay up. Yeah. Stay, stay productive. Gang, gang, all right? Stay lucky, people. Peace. Stay. Yeah.